Hey girls, Kaylee here. So our hairstyle today is from The Hunger Games again, and this one is the one that Katniss had for the reaping. Now I had a little bit of trouble seeing this hairstyle because the camera work was just all over the place, um, but this is the best that I could kind of recreate from what I saw. And basically I actually came up with one for thin hair and one for thick hair because this is a hairstyle that can get really big really easily. So I wanted to kind of help you girls with thicker hair out a little bit. So I hope you guys like this. It's a really great updo for summer because it just gets your hair up and out of the way. You don't even have to worry about it. So I hope you guys like it and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye! Okay, the first option is the one for thicker hair, and I decided that this one would be better for thicker hair because it uses less braids, so it will make the bun a little smaller. And I started out with just a curl texture on my hair so that my hair would just look a little bit more Katniss-y, I guess. Um, my hair is so straight naturally, it just wasn't going to look great. Separate your hair about an inch back from each ear, and then separate the middle section out of the way, and go ahead and pin it up. And then go ahead and French braid both of the side sections. Try not to take any hair from that middle section. I kind of cheat sometimes and do it, but you really shouldn't because um, it'll mess up your partings. And anyway, all you're going to do is incorporate all the hair that you sectioned out. And then once you've got all that hair incorporated, just go ahead and secure it at the very base of that braid. Then you're going to let the top down and split it in half. And then take the hair from the braid as one section and then split the hair from the new hair in half. And then you have two sections from that, which makes the three sections of your new braid and braid all the way down. Sorry about that little piece of hair hanging out. I fixed it in a little bit. I know some of you OCD girls might have some trouble with it. I decided to do it this way so you wouldn't end up with the ugly part line in the middle of your head. And that kind of makes it a little bit more true to the original style as well. So what you're going to do is take that braid and you want to loop it in kind of like a horizontal oval, if you will. Mine ended up being a little bit diagonal. Ideally, it would be a little bit more horizontal than I did and pin it in place and then you're going to take the next braid and wrap it around and pin that in place and then you can take both of those little pippy long stocking braid and things that are sticking out and tuck them underneath the bun and go ahead and pin those there. Now you can see mine ended up a little bit big so what I did was I literally just squashed it with my hands and it ended up like that. So that's kind of my ideal one for the thicker hair because it has less braids so with bigger hair um, this will look about the right size. If you do the next one that has all the different braids, you might end up with like a little bun afro going on. So this is our second option for thinner hair or for short hair because it has so many braids, it's going to give the illusion of having more hair. So I thought that would be good for you girls. You're going to split the hair in front of your ears on either side and go ahead and separate those out of the way. We're going to work with them later. And then we're going to split the hair in the back in half. Do it really messily. Don't split your hair um, with a comb down the back or else you'll end up with a parting. And just go ahead and braid either side all the way down and keep it nice and loose because that'll give the appearance of more hair as well. And then once you got that done, we're going to go ahead and make our little buns. You can go ahead and make that first really narrow oval kind of shape with that first braid. Like so. And then you can just pin it in place. However you see fit. I like to pin obviously at either side. And then you can also pin some in the middle as you feel you need it as well. Then wrap the next braid around and go ahead and pin those in place. Like so. And then we're going to move on to the front. You can go ahead and French braid backward use and incorporate all that hair from the front section. Once you've incorporated all that hair, you just go ahead and braid down the rest of the skirt and secure it with a band. Again, you don't want to be too tight with this. That would be a really um, easy pit to fall into with this hairstyle, but if you make this too tight, it's not going to look true to the original style. It will also look a little bit dated. Um, for a more modern look, you really want to go with kind of a looser texture. So wrap one of the braids over the top of that bun and pin it in place. And this is a good chance to crisscross your pins with the pins that you've already put into your braid. And then you're going to go ahead and take the tail and weave it around however you see fit. This is a good chance to get creative. And then take that final braid and wrap it over the top and around however you see fit again to make that shape that you like and go ahead and pin those in place and you're done. So that's our second option. I gave you guys two options so you would have a lot of different ways to play around with it. If you like one thing from one um, option and one from another, mix them together and make your own hairstyle. This is a really good way to get creative. Be sure to check out my other Hunger Games tutorials and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!